Welcome back to our P3 special on Jerusalem. At the center of the old city is the Western Wall. It's believed to be the only part of the Second Temple built by King Herod for the Jews to still be standing. Here is part three of my tour with Dr. Noam Cheval, the head of the Geography Department at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. I'm looking at, uh, obviously, the, this is the most holy place for the Jewish people. What, what, are, what are they uh, doing This is there? not the holiest place. The holiest place is the Esplanade, after. Oh, right, right, yes. And, you ha and the Holy of Holiness. But mm -hmm. this is a, a, a because you, today you cannot purify yourself. Mm -hmm. To go in. To go in. And there is, uh, it's not allowed to stand or to walk where the Holy of mm -hmm. Holiness. Right. Because this part of the temple, just a high priest, Right. Entered one day on Yom Kippur yeah, day of at one time yeah. exactly yeah. They, they have a comment so therefore today most of the Jewish people will not ascend into the Esplanade mm -hmm. and will remain here just to the wall. so yes yeah. to you yeah. I, I answered I gave you yeah. a long yeah. irrelevant academic answer <laughs> but yeah. yes this, this is, is the a spot. today yeah. yes the holiest yeah. place yeah. today for for Jews yeah. and here they will uh, uh, congregate and pray. Yeah. And they're putting the uh, they're putting things into the crack of the wall. Prayers. Uh, what, are, what are they putting into the? Uh, cracks? Yes, I would say this is not an official uh, Jewish uh, practice, but it's uh, become a practice that people are writing some wishes mm -hmm. and putting them in the wall, and mm -hmm. they collect them every half a year and burying them in Mount of Olives. Now this uh, this building here that we're, we're seeing, what we how old are these stones and this is a second temple period? Yes, the stones are, uh, uh, this uh, uh, stage of construction was done by in the time of King Herod, so we're talking about more than 2,000 years right. ago. And they brought huge stones, some of them that we cannot see right here, mm -hmm. uh, that are very heavy, about 350 tons. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's quite amazing how they managed mm -hmm. to build this uh, huge uh, compound. But the idea was to create a huge uh, sacred compound mm -hmm. to allow hundreds of thousands of mm -hmm. people to worship uh, to God. And we know how many people can be in this esplanade yeah. because today the Muslims have their festivities there. Mm -hmm. And on some days they can have the 300, 350,000 people inside, uh, the... outside on the esplanade wow. praying. Wow. So we're talking about a, one of the biggest compounds in ancient time. It's incredible. Now this, uh, the second temple was built uh, as a continuation after the, Solom the Solomon Temple was yeah, destroyed. Yeah, the Solomon Temple by, was destructed by the Babylonians and then it was rebuilt by, uh, uh, several years, I mean later after yeah. the destruction, right. uh, after they came back from Babylon. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, Herod, mm -hmm. 500 years later, right. built a more impressive uh, right. temple. Right. And as I told you, the uh, wall continues right. 410 yeah. meters, and maybe we should yeah. get and, inside and see some. And of this, uh, and this temple again is yeah. obviously not just significant for for um, uh, for uh, Jews, but Christians as well. This is uh, where Christ would have gone into as exactly. a Jew. He would have been exactly. into this temple as well. Christ was praying here as yeah. a Jew, and Christ also was turning the tables of the right. money changers that right. was congregating at the right. edge of the temple. So right. we also have. I mean, Christ was praying here right. as, a, as a Jew, right. but also right. made some of his, right. I would say, notable appearance into right. Jerusalem in the Passover right. by right. explaining that uh, those activities, right. financial activities, should corruption, not in the should not exactly. Let's go in. So we're here in this uh, most one of the most ancient parts of the temple uh, wall, and there's people. This praying. is just a supporting wall of the okay. temple. And people are praying, or obviously uh, doing some chants from uh, from the prayer books. Okay. They do it three times a day. Okay. And then behind us, we have an incredible library. What is this? Yeah, it's a library, but in fact, you have here a very big uh, storage of Torah scrolls. Oh. That, um, and you can see, by the way, some. What is of that? The, what are we looking at down some there? Some archaeological findings that they were finding when renovating. It's incredible. So like, everything is multi-layered. I mean, that, that's what really hits me yeah. about this place, is that not only, I mean, are, are we looking at a 1,500-year-old, uh, I'm sorry, 2,000-year-old two, two, wall, but below these surfaces, yes. uh, societies have built and up, deeper. and I'm yes. looking down there 20 meters, and there's obviously yeah. uh, ancient parts of the city exactly. that's still being discovered. Yeah. Professor, this uh, the tour of Jerusalem is uh, unbelievable. It just took a small little glimpse of the, the wonder that is this place. 
One of the things that hits me is the complexity of the political situation here. You have a small area. There's no way to really divide the city. What are your feelings about this? I think we'll have to learn to manage it together. It's mm -hmm. maybe like a, there's a story about Solomon and the baby. Mm -hmm. when the two mothers are coming and uh, Solomon says, let's uh, cut it into two. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to, if you love this city, you need to have it united. Mm -hmm and you have to see how you can run and manage it together mm. with all the complexities, religion, nationalities, because if you will divide it, it, it will die. It's like right. two Siamese twins right, right. Or, or a Siamese triplets, right. which doesn't exist. It's all interconnected. It, we have one heart, and this is the old city of Jerusalem, so mm. we cannot really divide it. We need to learn how to mm. live uh, in harmony. Mm. Thanks so much. Okay. It was really great. My pleasure. Many thanks to my Jerusalem tour guide, Dr. Noam Shaval, head of the Geography Department at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Want to send us a comment or an idea? We'll tell you how to do that next when P3 continues. <laughs>